Four. Today I'll be demonstrating the three types of leads on a skeet field using a left to right hand crossing target. Finding the correct method for you will lead to more broken targets and a higher score on your scorecard. The three types of lead I'll be discussing today are the swing through, the sustained, and the pull away. Four. Now I'm going to show you how to break this target using the swing through method. First, my barrel is going to start from behind the target, sweep through the bird, get in front of the target, then pull the trigger while still moving my barrel away. This is going to break the target just about every time. Four. 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 My barrel is going to start from behind the target, sweep through the bird, get in front of the target, then pull the trigger while still moving my barrel away. Using the swing through method isn't my favorite because of its inconsistency. Because as your barrel passes through the target, you lose sight of it. Four. But you will need to learn how to use this method because sometimes you get beat by the target and to break it, your barrel must pass through it. Next, I'm going to demonstrate how to break a target on the skeet field using the sustained lead. First, the shooter must get in front of the target at the appropriate lead, follow the target, then pull the trigger while maintaining its follow through. This is the most consistent lead on the skeet field. Four. Finding the correct lead and how much lead that is depends on how far the target is away from you Four. and how fast it's moving. Today, my lead on the target, which is about 20 yards away, is right at two and a half to three feet. Four. Get in front of the target at the appropriate lead, follow the target, and pull the trigger while maintaining its follow through. On the skeet field, the sustained lead is the most consistent, and because of this, it's also my favorite. Four. Last, I'm going to shoot the target using the pull away method. First, the shooter must match the speed of the target and then slowly accelerate away from it at about one mile an hour faster than the target is moving. On both the skeet field and the hunting field, this is commonly used because of its consistency. Four. I recommend you try the pull away method over all the others because it is consistent in both the shooting sports and in hunting. The shooter must match the speed of the target and then slowly accelerate away from it at about one mile an hour faster than the target is moving. Four. Remember, every lead works, but you have to find the one that's most consistent for you, whether it be swing through, sustained, or pull away. Until next time, stay Army strong. Four.